even get to bronze. Hello guys, this is X Benedict here today with another tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an easy Photoshop banner. All you need for this is Photoshop CS6 or you could use Photoshop CC. Um, all you need to do is open the channel uh, template fireworks. I will uh, leave the download for this in the description of this video. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to go into our... We're going to open another thing and we're going to go and open this galaxy here well you can use anything i just like this galaxy it looks great um now we drag this over here there now what we need to do here is make this hold down shift shift click and drag down like this okay that looks good now we're gonna hit the opacity button and drag it down a bit it's just so we can see the text area okay that looks good but i might move this down like that looks good Looks good like that. Uh, like that. Yep. Okay. Now all we need is our text. Okay. For the text, I'm going to be using "I Love Disaster." I'll leave that in the description. The download link. It should be here. It's a nice, easy font. It's pretty good. So, we'll go. Uh, what should we write? I'll just write X. Okay, we'll put this size up. We're gonna put it up to about 500. Yep, and we'll do eggs. So why aren't you working? Sorry about this, guys. I don't know what's going on. Okay, now I've got eggs. We're going to tick that. It looks good. And now I'm gonna move it into the center there. Click this. Click 3D, new, new 3D extrusion from selected path, from selected layer, sorry, not path. And just wait for it to load. Okay, there we go. It looks much better in 3D. It looks horrible in normal thing, just just the normal viewer. So here you can click any of these. This one moves it all around. You can do anything with it. This one moves it up and down. I'll just have, leave mine like that. This one moves it back and forth, like so. I'm just gonna have it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. I think that looks good. Now, I'm gonna click this little light bulb here. Now I'm gonna click the box, and I'm gonna uncheck shadow. This is optional, but I just do it. I think it looks good. And you can have your own type of light. I'm gonna go Mardi Gras. We're gonna go up here and hit the resize button. Well, the select button okay now that we have this it looks pretty good but it looks quite basic you can have anything in the background that you want I am just going to use a picture of a minecraft character so here we click file and click open and now we go down to where we saved it I saved mine on the desktop and here we have a picture of a minecraft mario character so now we double click the background in layers uh, to, to unlock it. Now we drag it over to the template and right here it's got a white background. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this layer and we're going to click the magic wand tool. First you've got to apply that. Click the magic wand tool and click magic wand and click the white background and hit backspace. You can still see white stuff. So yeah, click that. And backspace set. I think that looks pretty good. So now we're going to double click this layer and select it. And gonna move this over here. And we're gonna hit. Sorry about this. I don't know what the Photoshop's doing right now. Um, we're going to hit the Control T to transform. And now I'm gonna make this l larger while holding down Shift. Like that, it looks all pixelated, but Photoshop will fix that. So there we go, this. We move that here. Doesn't look too good, so I'm gonna move this layer just under the eggs one. Gonna have him sticking out just like that, and I'm gonna rotate him a bit. This looks pretty good. Um, we'll have him so he does. He's not sticking out of the background. Uh, yeah. That. So now we're gonna click this bottom layer. First, we've gotta hit the checkbox, and now I click the bottom layer, and then we right. And go. 
sorry, no, sorry, what am I talking about? So we click here and then we go opacity and put that all the way back up there so it looks like that. So right now you're thinking, well, what's up with all this around here? That's all going to be removed once we upload it to YouTube. So thanks for watching my simple tutorial and I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.